Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn how can you add data to orchestrator queue using UiPath apps. So here let's first see the demo and then we will learn in detail. Let me enter some name, let's say Rakesh Kumar and then is it permanent, is it permanent, let's say true and let's say enter some age and then select the department. Okay, so I have given some data here and I am going to click on add to queue. The moment I do this, you can see on the screen it says add it to queue. Now let's go to the queue in the orchestrator, refresh the queue and see if the data which I have entered is available or not. You can see the data which I have entered has appeared in the queue. Now the question comes how this entire thing can be designed in UiPath apps. So without making any further delay, let's get started. All right, the very first thing that we will do, we will try to add a queue. We will create a queue and then try to add the queue in the UiPath app. That is the very first step. But before we do that, I would like to let you know, you cannot add a normal queue. If you look at my screen, it tells you only queues with specific data JSON schema. So what is data JSON schema is something new will be available for selection. So actually I have queue. You can see if I go back to my orchestrator queue, there's a test queue available. But when I'm coming to UiPath app, I'm not able to see anything because that queue is not created using data JSON schema. Now what is this data JSON schema is a new concept that I'm going to teach you. Now for this, I'm going to type something called referencing a queue in UiPath apps. Just type this. You will find a small document uh, here referencing a queue in your app. Okay, this is small documentation. Just click on this particular document. Now once you have this document open, what we actually need a JSON schema. So here is the JSON schema. All you have to do simply copy this JSON schema and open a notepad and paste it into the notepad. Okay, so you can see the entire JSON schema has come. Now what is JSON schema? Now when I'm uploading a data to the queue, it will have field like you have seen in Excel. You have multiple rows and multiple columns like name, age, right employee id phone number address these are the columns similar way what we are doing we are defining how that data structure of the queue would look like so if you see this this is how the schema you have to copy let's say i want different different fields let's say name is one field is permanent is one field age is one field department as so this is how it has been defined name is a type string is permanent is another column whose type is boolean Age is another column whose type is number. Department is another column which has a innumerable type string where you can have three different values either sales, marketing or HR. So this is how this JSON schema you have to get it onto a notepad. So where did I get it from? I got it from this particular link referencing a queue in your app and here is the JSON schema just copy paste into a notepad. Once you have done that simply save this notepad as dot JSON. So for example, here I'm going to save it as emp.json and save. Okay, so I've saved it as .json file. Once that is done, go to your queue. And here I'm going to click on add queue, create a new queue. I'm going to give it a name. Let's say I'm going to give it a name called emp or employee table. And here you see something called specific data JSON schema. I'm not creating the queue in a normal way. I'm using a schema to create the queue. So how to do that? Simply browse it and the JSON that you have saved, right? Just refer that JSON. So here I think I've saved in the downloads. So I'm going to select this and open. So here you can see the JSON has been imported and all I have to do simply add it. Now what happened? The queue has got multiple columns as defined in the JSON format. If you click on and click on edit, you can see the emp.json is now converted itself to specific data schema.json. This is the name when you add a queue, it tells you, hey, you cannot add any normal queue. The queue has to be data JSON schema. 
where that is coming from from here specific data schema getting it all right so once that is done so let me see if i can now add this queue that i've created using the schema using the specific data json schema let me go to the app click on this drop down and click on queue if you see here last time i was not able to see this queue name now because it is built using the data json schema i am able to see it and it tells me hey this schema has got multiple columns what are those columns name is permanent age and department these are the four columns which is there and this is the data type of each of this column let me click on add the moment i do this what's going to happen is if you see the queue got added and if you expand it you will see the table the schema got added here or the sorry the queue got added with the json schema all right so this is done one part is done now moving on to the next part let's go to the main page where i have designed a simple you know these are all simple text boxes you can see this is a text box whose name i have changed to name and say text uh, is permanent is again a text box okay age is again a text box Dep uh, sorry uh, is permanent is a drop down you can see it's a drop down and i've simply said list true and false because this is permanent column if you see this is a boolean type so that's why i've created a drop down so that the user can get true and false and he can select one out of them uh, now for the department also i have created a list in inside that i have mentioned all these three values Be because if i enter anything else sales marketing and hr if i enter anything else it is going to throw me error saying the data format do not match with the schema okay so i have to ensure i am i am entering i'll show you that what is the error that i am going to get okay so these are the simple text boxes that you can easily design now the question comes the moment i click on add queue how the data can be moved from all these text boxes to the queue for that let me click on this button where i have given a name called add to queue i'll go to the events i'll click on create rule okay now here in the create rule i am going to use something called add to queue there's a rule called add to queue now the queue that i have imported will be shown here just click on it once that is done there is something called input override if you click here what happens the queue that contains multiple different columns all the columns are been shown this is coming from your json schema now here i am going to select the name then again click here i am going to select is permanent i am going to again click on and select age and the last column which is department okay now to enter so these are coming from the queue how i i can enter the value to that is by referring to the text box which contains that data the moment the user enters the data will be contained in that so i am going to go to the main page i am going to say for the name you enter the value from the name text box done now for the department equals to you enter from this department text box uh, sorry it was permanent right uh, let me go back once again add queue event okay now for uh, is permanent you need to add it from is permanent value now for uh, age equals to enter it from age done so i'm just referring the text box values to the queue columns okay uh, last is department so i'm saying department done so i have referred everything just fine now there are a couple of problems that would come i am going to show you that now here i am saying when successfully added to the queue show a message stating added to queue okay uh, and i am going to say success now when queue item uh, uh, addition fail if that fails then what to what it should happen so i am going to say set value and uh, you can use some variable let's say error type you create a variable and then i will say equals to and then i can drag and drop this error type 
and I'll use a ampersand symbol and then I will drag and drop this error message so this is how the error type variable will contain the entire data you know how it has failed and all that okay now what I want so this is all done but there are still problems are there I'm going to show you that first of all let's hit on review okay now in the text boxes I am going to enter values and then hit on add queue button the moment I hit on add queue button the trigger will happen wherein it is going to take the data and add queue rule will be running and it will pick the data from all this table and going to add it to the queue so let's see that now if you see our queue is blank let me open it our queue is completely blank there's no data so here I'm going to enter the name. Let's say I'm going to enter something called A, the name. And is he a permanent employee? Let's say true. Age, let me enter something. And department, let me select sales. Okay. I'm going to hit on add to queue. So it got added to the queue. I think by mistake I have clicked twice. Let's go there. Refresh. You can see the data has been added. View details. You can see A23 sales has been added. Okay, this is working, but the problem is if you see after it has been added, it should erase the data, right? The data is still there. And the other thing, for example, um, instead of sales, if I'm typing something else, let's say it doesn't allow me here, but again, let, let me type something here. So, this is a number type, right? Age is a number schema. You see, it's a number type, but I'm entering some string. So if I do that, you get an error saying the queue item violates the specified input schema. You're getting it? So you are restricted to enter only proper data. Okay, this is understood. Now let's focus on how can I erase the data. So what happened? By mistake, I clicked twice and twice the data has gone. If it would have been erased, then that wouldn't have been the, been the case. So how to do that? I'll show you a simple trick. For this, we will go to the add queue button click on the events click on edit rule and here after this add queue uh, rule i'm going to add something else below this what is that i'm going to use a set value okay and i am going to say somebody clicked on that then i want to clear it after this is run the second task that is going to run is it should clear the value so i'm going to simply say name and value property i am going to leave it blank Okay, so that way it is going to clear it. So let me add a couple of other things. Set values. And let me select H. Same way. Let's. This is going to, because I'm not providing any value, it is going to automatically set it to blank. So this is another technique that I'm using here. So I will select each permanent. I'll leave it as it is. The next thing I'm going to select department. And leave it as it is okay i hope i've selected all the different columns okay all done now look at it what is the difference that's that's going to happen so let me close and let me hit on preview all right let's enter the second name let's say i'm entering b is permanent i'm saying false now age i'm entering some numbers and then department i'm going to select marketing department and I'm going to add to queue the moment I do this look at it what's going to happen add it to queue and the next thing that happened is it has cleared the data okay so getting it so if I click like this in a blank one it tells me because you did not fill the data it did not go to the queue it is simple now let me go back to the queue and just see if that new data has appeared or not you can see the B data has appeared so getting it, these are the simple technique. I hope you can utilize it and start experimenting with data being added to the queue with this small demo. Thank you guys. We are going to meet once again in our next content. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. And do not forget to subscribe in case you have not done it already. Thank you.